We get them up for our pal, Chris Crawford coming in here. Um, you ever like that band, Chris Cross? Remember them? Those two kids that wore their outfits backwards, so like the zipper in their pants was by their buttocks and stuff. What was their song? Chris, Chris Cross? Chris, 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 Anyways, I don't know why that popped. Chris Crawford coming in with this one. We're back with the band Wolf Brigade. And we're doing the song uh, in, the dar in Darkness, You Feel No Regret, which, man, that is, that is powerful, isn't it? And it comes from the In Darkness, You Feel No Regret record. Uh, we're going to learn about Wolf Brigade, and I'm pretty damn sure we've done them on this channel before. You can put my name and Wolf Brigade in the search, and maybe something will pop up for you. Going to learn about them, then listen to it for Chris Crawford. If that sounds fun to you, and I'm betting you every fan of Wolf Brigade probably don't know who Chris Cross was back in the 90s. But, anyways, we're going to get into it. We're going to do it right here, right now. Uh, Wolf Brigade, they got 9,200 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams for this band, Ways to Die, comes in it. Uh, first slot, 50,000 plays. Disarm or Be Destroyed, 80,000 plays. Warsaw Speed Wolf, that's got a million plays. Life, Knife, Death, 47,000 plays. And A Day in the Life of an Arse. Like an arse hole? Most of those songs come from Life, Knife, Death. It's the latest album from the band. When did that come out? 2024, September, a couple months ago. So it's getting plays, that's why. Uh, Warsaw Speed Wolf came from the Run With The Hunted album. Uh, so let's look into albums and see what they've got so far throughout their career. Looks like 2001-ish they start with Progression Regression. Then the record that we're doing the song from here, In Darkness You Feel No Regrets. And will it be the first track on the album? If you have an album, you know the rules. If you have an album called something with a song called something on it, it has to be the first track. Coma Live. Yes, we've done stuff from that. That looks completely familiar to me. 2009, you got uh, Damned, Run With The Hunted, The Enemy. Uh, what are those two little dots called? Because it says The Enemy, Dear Little Dots, Reality, 2019. Call. Sammy, I don't know what it is called. What's the two dots called? Not the ones that are like this that go for the umlauts, but the ones that are like that. The enemy, two dots. And Life, Knife, Death, that came out September 2024. So there's the albums from the band. Now we're going to look into related artists for Wolf Brigade. If you say, man, that stuff was great. Maybe you'll like some of this stuff. Bat. Mammoth Grinder. Uh, Martyrdod. Disphere. We've done quite a few of these bands on the channel. Midnight. Oh yeah, we've done them. Spider. Uh, like S-P-I-T-E-R. Spider. Venomous Concept. Enforced. We've done them. Pest Control. Forced. Neglect. That almost sounds like hardcore punk band. Prowl. And Foreseen. So that is the related artist for the band. We look into the bio ever so quickly. And then we'll get into it. And you've got an image here, and it's of the band, and they're standing in front of a big eyeball, or the eyeball is looking at them, almost like they're inside of the Land of the Lost Cave, where Will and his family, and Holly and Dad, would hide from the, lived in the cave. But also, when the big Tyrannosaurus Rex would come, they would get far back in the cave, and this is what, like, they're doing now. Wolf Brigade says, my God, there's a big eye, Shane, help us, it's behind us. I say, well, just get away from the door, dudes, and come sit down for dinner. Wolf Brigade have been storming the scene internationally in one form or another since 1995, then formed as Wolf Pack. The outfit unleashed three LPs and as many EPs of their potent crust-inspired punk, in, oh, I'm loving this, in less than five years instantly making a massively influential impact worldwide and helping fuel an entire new wave of D-beat. There's a new word that I'm learning. D-beat bands. I'm looking that up. Monday morning, D-beat on Spotify. Bands, uh, the D-beat bands and scene internationally with some uh, personnel changes. At the turn of the century, the band kicked off the new millennium under the revamped moniker Wolf Brigade. 
There you have that. All right. Are you with me? Are you here? In darkness, you feel no regrets, and it is not the first song, so it's got to be the last. And it's not that either. Did you hear my guts just now? It disagrees with the way they've structured this album already, but uh, it's time. It is time. Chris Crawford says, you got to check this out. So that's what we do here on the first listens. This is the Titty Boom Boom. Now, Chris knows this. He's been around. He's seen what we do here. And so he's fully aware of what's about to happen. But I'm going to give you a taste. And we're going to listen to the song In Darkness You Feel No Regrets from the album here now. Here we go. Almost sounded like this song started from the last song. Did you hear that little punch at the beginning? Oh yeah. Raw. Love that low tone. Love this stuff. Just raw. Gasoline soap. Furious on the drums. Almost got in tune sounding guitars. Buzzsaw. It's actually growling it out a lot like LG would have from Entombed or something. Drummer's killing it. This is gonna be short and sweet. I don't think you're going to hear any solos in this song. It's tasty. Furious. Going over there for Tom shit. Bass kicking one off. Oh, this is right up my alley, man. Gunhead Battalion. I love that. that I love that thick buzzsaw heavy guitar tone that would put it almost in the death metal family, but it's actually in the punk family. I have went down the rabbit hole. There was a great band that I used to love back in the day called Sore Throat. And they was just like, a punk rock version of Napalm Death is the best way to describe it. It's just that raw, just like what we heard here, Wolf Brigade, just that raw ass, punky kind of metal energy, right? But their songs were so quick that I had an album that had like 50 songs on it, a cassette tape that had like 50 goddamn songs on it. But I have been listening to the uh, a, a, a Spotify playlist of Sore Throat. And I'm going to tell you now some of the great bands that are in that Wolf Brigade-y kind of a style, Sore throat -y kind of a style. you got Sore Throat. You've got um, Paranoid. And, I, and their name's in, in Japanese or something before it says Paranoid. Um, there's Sore Throat and Paranoid and Nausea and uh, a War Collapse. And um, there's one called Disgust and Disciple and Do Dyke, uh, Discast, uh, just, I mean, just, so go check that out. I would say go check out Sore Throat. They have an album album that's called Nevermind the Napalm, Here's Sore Throat, and it looks just like the album cover for the Nevermind the Bullocks, Here's Six, Sex Pistols. 
Anyways, what say you? Most important part of my videos is where you get in the comments below and tell me what you think about D-Beat, what you think about this band, Wolf Brigade. Uh, I've never heard the term D-Beat before. Now I have to go investigate that. Uh, but tell me all you know and love about the band. Good, great, fantastic, Shane. I'm a huge fan of Wolf Brigade. Let me tell you some fine other bands to check out in that vein. All-time favorite albums from these guys. Uh, where uh, Have you ever seen them live? What was that like? I'd be curious if they, well, yeah, you're going to have to just get down there and feed me all the information. Do you know these guys? How are they doing? Are they doing good? Or you could say, not good. I'm trying to burp. I'm trying to talk. I got a gas bubble in there. It's trying to come up. I'm trying to think. I can't do it. Not good. Not great. Shane, I didn't care for that. It was very, uh, very rambunctious, aggro, uh, irritating. Uh, and unnerving, so I don't want it, don't need it, never going to listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know? If you got a request, want to see it on the channel, hit those links or put it in the comments. Chris, there you go. Great. Good stuff. I love that. Sometimes bands like Napalm Death, that old crusty grindcore uh, D beat, I don't know if that's it, but it just hits the spot. Listen to a Napalm Death album when you're doing last minute Christmas shopping. It just, you know, and everyone's fucking trying to tear the doll out of someone's ass. Get rid of the fucking doll, I was here first. You just put Napalm Death on, you're whizzing through there, the, 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 the local target, just like there's no problems. You're just having a damn good time and you're saying, hey, the world's great, man. You know, whatever. There we go. Wolf Brigade.